Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Ghana. There has been quite an uproar after it was announced that the United Kingdom Parliament invited members of Parliament's Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee of Ghana to a three-day meeting to discuss the promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill, which is also known as Anti-LGBTQ Bill. The Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Conference has invited members of parliament. The event is expected to address a number of human rights issues, among which the controversial promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill, or the LGBTQ Bill, will be key. According to Chairperson of the Committee, Kwame, the meeting will begin on Monday, June 13th and end on Wednesday, June 15th. He says four members of the committee have been billed to attend that crucial meeting. Ghanaians on social media were not very pleased with this um, information coming out. So one of the people that were invited, uh, members of parliament that was supposed to attend the meeting, actually gave um, his side of the story. He said he was not very pleased with the way the media uh, covered the story and he says that nothing um, is for sure now they haven't even decided to attend the meeting yet let me show you the clip we'll come back and discuss we have an invitation from the commonwealth parliamentary association of which we are a member we were supposed to have traveled yesterday in order that we could actually attend the meeting on monday but because of uh, logistic problems, we were not able to go yesterday. And uh, officers will try if they will get a ticket for us. They will buy a walk into the meeting. But what I have said at an interview with Joy and with uh, the media, TV3 yesterday, was that I am particularly interested in meeting the uh, British Parliamentary uh, Association the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, because they had actually, at colonial matters, had given us a law. Now, in our criminal book, we have a natural canon as a criminal offense. I want to find out how they transition from that to actually pass the LGBTQ. And I also said, amongst others, that South Africa had appetite, but they also passed this bill. And then, uh, we are also, for best practice, we have to learn from Uganda what they have also gone forward and backwards on similar bills. So for best practice, we need to know all this. So it's unfortunate that the story is twisted to be as if Ghana's parliament is in the pocket of the British parliament. That is not correct. This tells us that the people are not ready to accept this yet, even though um, there's a pressure, there's a push from the West, especially from the US and now the UK to make it legal, but it looks like uh, society, at least at this moment, is not ready and they're not willing to let their leaders accept what the West is pushing at the moment. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum-based website, so it's something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music, 
and many, many more. Um, on Black Community Speak, it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship. So make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today.